Welcome to a new vlog. I'm having my coffee. I already had my protein shake. We're gonna spend the day together. It is 29 days before my 29th birthday. I actually can't believe that I'm in my last year of my 20s and I would love to do like a series like this for my 30th birthday and I decided this year that I'm gonna do like a little bit of a taster and like a trial run to see <laughs> what I get up to, how I do it, because I've never done it before. I saw this idea on TikTok, don't we see all of the incredible things that we do nowadays on TikTok. TikTok is just so educational, like, I don't care what you say, like, YouTube and TikTok is just on another level, like, Instagram, aesthetic, inspiration, like, the vibes, you know, but TikTok and YouTube just, it's a platform to be educated and to like get ideas and just oh it's just so fun and obviously youtube is my favorite platform Shh, don't tell anyone but you leafies know so i'm doing this series 29 things in 29 days of glow up before my 29th birthday i'm doing it on youtube and also like a little bit of a mini series on tiktok as well but i'm gonna have my coffee we're gonna make the bed and i don't know what we're gonna do today yet but i need to like i need to get i need i need to get started i need to get the first day started um and we're gonna do it together drink two of these a day for the next 29 days I've been at it for like maybe like a week or two because to be honest with you I wasn't too great with my water and I had a bit of a realization um, because within my weight loss journey I obviously have like different phases like in the beginning I was losing like really well and then Dr. Clay uh, put me on a bit more of like a maintenance, people call it reverse dieting, where you eat like a little bit more calories, bigger portions, um, to not like slow down your metabolism too much. So I obviously didn't lose much weight within those two and a half, three weeks. Um, and I also wasn't drinking my water and just like one day I was just thinking to myself like I'm not doing crazy exercises where I'm like sweating I'm obviously like moving my body but I'm not really like sweating things out um, and besides from like number two I'm not drinking enough water to like wee out all of this fat and all of this all of this weight so I was like where where am I expecting the weight to go because I was kind of like standing still a little bit I was still losing centimeters which is amazing but um I was kind of standing still with my weight loss and when I went to Dr. Clay like a week and a half ago she was like you need to up your water 1.5 liters to like two liters on a good day is just not enough so she kind of gave me a kick in the butt 
to drink more water so that's one of my goals to drink three liters of water a day but that means you're literally weeing all day um and in the beginning i and i'm not a very thirsty person to be quite honest um in the beginning i kind of only started drinking my water a little bit later and then it would be like eight o'clock and i would have like a liter and a half left and then i would be up all night going to the bathroom so now i'm trying to just do it a bit earlier i guess so naturally because i'm doing this like mini series i have a goal weight <laughs> And I thought I would share that with you because I want to keep myself accountable and um, I feel like if I have a few eyes on me the pressure is on like I it's on I need to now put the work in and just get it done because obviously I'm not gonna be like in my weight loss phase for too long because I want to not be so strict and just lose the weight a little bit slower like the little bit of weight I have left so I have about um, I think I have about eight or nine kilograms to go um, more or less so I really want to lose four kilograms in these 29 days i don't even know if it's possible but i just want to i want to get to like the 50 somethings <laughs> i really just my age is going up my weight must come down it's just like it's a non-negotiable it's something i want it'll be my birthday one of my birthday gifts to myself i guess so um yeah i thought i would share that with you i'm currently 64 point something um just finished up with my period so naturally like obviously a little bit heavier but i feel like as i increase my water intake i can i can i feel better like i feel more focused i just i feel good so the hair look that we're going for today is a little bun i really want to do like a cute little bella bun i don't know if you've heard of these little things it comes in a few different um, colors. It comes in black, dark brown, red brown, light brown, and then blonde. Obviously, like your classic hair colors. And I obviously got the blonde. It also comes in two different sizes. One for like shorter hair and then obviously because I have a lot of hair. I um, have the long one as well. But yeah, here's like a little bit of a step by step on how to do it. Okay, so you have like two little flaps and you need to bend it like outward. So I'm going to put it in like this. And then you slide it down and then you start rolling. And then once you have it like at the base you just kind of bend it and you have the perfect little bun
okay so up here i have my lunch for the day i have two cracker braids with some cottage cheese high in protein um i have the the non-fat or like fat free one and then just a little bit of aromat with some garlic i don't know i'm weird and i've also been loving peeling my tomato sometimes i fell in love with this when we went to turkey because that's they kind of have like a tomato salad with um it's like a sweet lemony so i put some sweetener some lemon just salt and pepper and then i just added some chicken in that and i have it in a little hot dish because self-love <laughs> on myself which is okay because i'm gonna get dressed in like two seconds i thought of doing um like a a beige and black vibe i got this shared this with you in a previous vlog from mango oh it is so stunning i'm planning on like wearing it open with like a little polo neck um, so I'm gonna get dressed. <laughs> I'm so cold. I'm like cold to my bones. When it's nearing my birthday, it's always like we get that last like burst of cold. And I just feel like as much as I'm a spring baby, spring is not spring anymore. I only feel like spring comes around like October in the past few years. Um, and this is also going to be our first, this is our first winter in this house, it's going to be our first spring. Um, also I think my first official birthday in the house because we only moved in in December. So yeah, it's going to be fun but let me get dressed. And I'm not even joking, like probably 30 of you sent me this video of this content creator walking on a treadmill and then she goes like, like, and does like a transition and then her outfit changes. I'm thinking of incorporating that into this video. So wish me luck. I'm going to move the treadmill or the walking pad into like the living area just to have like more space. I really hope this works because brain is not here and it's going to be a lot of trouble. Well, not really. I don't think so because this this walking pad really is like home friendly, if you know what I mean. So it's easy to like fold up and like move. But yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I'm gonna try and look in just a second I just want to see what else I have to do today besides like the things that I want to do for obviously the 29 days are on top of the things that I have to get done as well what 
when I work, I don't worry about food. I don't worry about water. It's bad. bathroom a little bit I don't know I was really just craving like simple minimal elegant just clean that's that's what I've been craving so I decided to remove this um, canvas and artwork piece that we had over here and this is all I have literally just two towels I put a third one at the top but I used it last night and then just little flowers a little candle some interior scent from Diptyque and then this little book from Christian Dior and also for the vanity area I really just like cleaned up everything I removed the big flower vase on that side just left it clean and I just have this like glass mirror metal tray that I got from Mr. Price Home. I love the fact that I can like mix metals in here. I know like everything is gold, but I think the fact that I have like a little bit of a gray undertone shower and like the marbling, it really just goes. I mean, we have this little silver detailing over here, so it goes. So I have my body cream and my hand and body wash from Christian Dior. These are so nice. They just look so beautiful. On like display I have my makeup bag and then just some face towels I took a little me day yesterday so I didn't vlog yesterday so the last thing you saw was me like rearranging <laughs> reorganizing and just like minimizing things and that's part of like I feel like I want to start with like a fresh clean slate so there's a lot of fun things that we're gonna do in the next 29 days I would love to like get your input like ideas um, obviously some of the things that I have on my list is going to the spa, like doing my nails, doing my hair, like beauty things obviously, but I also want to organize the house and just get the home like really nice and clean, organized because I feel like cleansed from the inside also when I have a clean space that I can live and function in. So my environment is very much like part of that whole little experience and part of the series i guess so if you have any ideas let me know but yeah 29 days um just trying to become my best self before i turn 29 and then that can be like a little bit of a practice run for next year when i turn 30 um still crazy to think about it uh one of my friends actually told me that i should stop telling people that I'm turning 30 next year like just just enjoy the fact that you're turning 29 in a couple of weeks so um yeah that's where I'm at um and I'm so excited to share that with you so let me know if you have like any ideas but I went shopping yesterday and at first I was like oh, I'll just vlog like a little bit and share with you where I go like show you some things and then I just thought to myself you know what I need to take like this day for me and I need to like fill my own cup and just get ready for this little series and for all of the vlogs to come and sometimes you just have to take like a you day you know to just fill your own cup do things that you like and one of the things I really like doing is to go shopping so I bought a couple of things and I thought I would show you them I've been on the hunt for sneakers like just plain white 
sneakers like no branding no nothing and i saw these at woolies they are like a material they have like a material and then the rubber around the sole and then the sole is like a brownish color so one thing we are going to do the next 29 days is tackle my shoes i feel like i have way too many shoes that i i don't even wear all of them and i really just want to like look at my collection and just see yeah just see i mean i have this whole cupboard full of sneakers and i even have like a box full of shoes that i haven't even unpacked but yeah, I've been on the hunt for a plain pair of white sneakers. I have so many white sneakers. I have these Guess ones. I have obviously like Air Force ones. Oh, I have these Michael Kors ones, but they're not plain. I have a couple of plain ones, but they're all like messed up and dirty. Like these ones, I need to just like maybe donate because yeah, they're like messed up and we need to clean those because we went hiking oh we have so many shoes in here that i oh, i feel like i don't even wear them like i feel i have another white pair but they're full of paint from like you know renovating and stuff you can see the paint so yeah i have been on the hunt for like plain white sneakers no branding just something simple that i could wear with a dress with jeans and just like how because there is nothing like a plain white sneaker and these are from woolies by the way they were 3.99 and then i also got a few things from h&m and i think i'm really loving this color because i got two <laughs> tops yesterday with this color like obviously two different tops i love my silk so this is just a little silk blouse it has really beautiful like i wouldn't say they're bell sleeves but they're a little bit bigger than your usual sleeves and they they look like they're nice and long and then the the top is like slightly cropped but not too much the color is just i don't even know yeah it's coming it's coming up right on camera it's like a purplish gray neutral it's so so incredibly pretty this one was 2.49 and then this one is more like a sweater for the weather we're in right now we're heading towards spring but i still feel like we're gonna get a bit cold um the remaining of august and maybe the beginning of september so i got this one it's like a sweater but it has like a, a lower neckline so you could wear these with jeans like or a nice pair of trousers with the white sneakers so cute so i'm actually thinking of wearing this today with the sneakers <laughs> neckline it kind of squares down and then again into a v so it has like a very accentuated sharp neckline but it's still so simple and so elegant and just i hate using the word flattering but it really like fits the body well and really makes the boobies look good it has like horizontal lines um or vertical that's horizontal vertical lines down and really just like elongates the body and then i have on a pair of paper bag loose fitting denims from zara they're quite old but now that i've lost a little bit of weight um everything is really just starting to feel good on my body again so i'm wearing these and then the sneakers are so comfortable they kind of remind me of um superga's so cute hello <laughs> so when we were renovating this house i just wanted to be comfortable i wore my favorite leggings from pick and pay and most of them got paint on it i think i have like one or two pairs um that are still perfect and i thought you know back then i would just buy new ones because they were like a hundred rand so affordable and they were my favorite but then sadly they discontinued them so now i'm on the hunt for a new 
favorite leggings so i got this one to try the active high waist from h&m they were 3.79 so i'll try them some other time and let you know and then i just got a pack of three socks i really love the look of um like wearing these over the leggings and like scrunching them like down looks so cute and it also keeps you warm so it has like this color that i've been loving black and white and then if you don't follow Von Guy, you should because she literally inspired me to get these I've seen it on a couple of pages but she literally like when I saw them at H&M I was like I'm gonna get them because Von Guy is just such a queen she uses these candle it's like you put the you put a candle in here but she doesn't actually put a candle in there and she uses it on her shelves like in a display unit and Sadly, there was only one left at the H&M I went to, but I'm pretty sure they, they'll have more. And it was like 150, so I'm definitely going to find a little home for her. Here we are in my perfume cupboard, and I know exactly what fragrance. I love coming here and like opening and like thinking, what fragrance am I going to wear today? But I knew exactly what I was going to wear today because I'm seeing my nephew and godson today. And since he was born, I don't know how, I just thought of it. And this was the fragrance that... I was wearing on the day um, that we went to go meet him at the hospital and since then I just thought maybe every time I see him I need to wear this fragrance because maybe he'll like remember the scent and like associate me with that scent and he'll feel like familiar around that scent. I don't know if babies can even smell at that age. They probably can. <laughs> I don't know i'm not a mom i don't know um but yeah it just became like a thing whenever i see him i make sure that i wear either one of these two or like a combination so this they're be, they're very like similar uh this one has product art hello Sorry for interrupting. That's okay. We're I was going to take it for a second. <laughs> We're in um, my perfume cupboard. And I was busy telling them that the day we met, um, like, our godson, hmm? baby nephew, um, I wore this fragrance. And now every time I see him... Do you want to wear it so that oh. he gets used to your scent? Yes. Do you think they can smell? Yeah, but I don't think... I think they can smell you even though you don't wear anything. Do you think even it's a good idea to wear perfume around a baby? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Not being a mom, not knowing what, like, I don't know what to do. But anyways, I think it's kind of special. Now I swear to God I am all alone in this wide, wild world. Wide, wild world. dinner <laughs> for everyone so excited I literally don't have any fresh flowers in the house like those ones are fake the ones that were in the bathroom I just put them there for now because I didn't have any flowers in the house but we went to Woolies and got these lilies oh they're so pretty I can't wait for them to open up and they just smell so incredible so I just have them in this big vase I'll place them somewhere now but I wanted to show you what we're gonna have for dinner tonight we're gonna have some healthy 
burgers so we get ostrich um, patties because they're a little bit healthier lower in fat your classic lettuce we have tomatoes in the fridge uh, cheddar I don't think I'm gonna put cheese on my burger just because I normally get the carb clever are you okay <laughs> I normally get the carb clever range but they didn't have them so yeah I don't think I'm gonna put cheese on mine got dessert for everyone else um never had these before little chuckles cream cones but I'm not gonna have them I am gonna go for this and I won't have the whole tub either I'll have like a couple of bites I think a whole tub is like a hundred calories I think so yeah just a couple of bites and it's really good um it doesn't have sugar or anything like that and um yeah that's what i'm gonna have for dessert and then brain picked out this mayonnaise i'm gonna have my sugar-free sauces from Diskim, and then um these buns obviously like you can't have a burger without a bun um so what we found that these ones from woolies are much smaller um than like regular buns so i'll have like one of these and like little fries that are in the air fry and then Bring will just have two burgers which is fine so yeah that's what we're gonna have but yeah we will show you how we make that we're gonna finish off some work for the day and um yeah, once they come we will show you a little bit that's it from us love you leafies we'll see you in the next vlog Bye, Bye. Bye. Thank you.